Yeah, let's get yeah. it. All the shit that I've been through, you would've thought that a nigga been known. Sometimes shit go wrong. Them cold nights slept on the floor. Broke days, I had to get alone. I was down bad bitch on my own. Didn't complain, nigga made the change. I'm a home man, Jamal Way. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. The information is literally out here. You don't have to pay nobody. You know, you, you really don't have to go to anybody. And I want y'all to understand this. A lot of these people that be selling these ebooks, they get this information from Google. Google <laughs> Google is your lifesaver, man. It's funny. I'm sorry I'm laughing, but Google is everything nowadays. Google can tell you anything you want to know. All you have to do is research. And you know, I didn't done enough research to be able to actually make a video on this. And I see a lot of people talking about it. I mean, it's funny because they don't tell you exactly what you need to know. They just tell you, you know, just a little bit to make you think that, you know, you're going to get somewhere so you can buy one of their ebooks or, you know, sign up to their website to purchase something from them. But truth be told, all they did was doing what I did and doing what I'm about to show y'all. So first thing of getting your credit repaired, you got to get your credit report. So you can go through, you know, three three things, really four things. You can go to annualcreditreport.com and, you know, put in some information to get it mailed to you. Or you can call in to their number and get them to actually send it to you, you know, uh, or tell you pretty much send it to you over the phone. But you're telling them what information you need. And then, you know, you got your top three credit bureaus such as, you know, uh, Xperia, Equifax and uh, TransUnion. And each one of these actually has a report on your credit score, on your FICO, on your, you know, your credit score. And as I'm scrolling through here, you know, in the United States, there are three national credit bureaus, Equifax, Asperia, TransUnion, to compete to capture update store credit historians on most of the United States consumers, while most of the information collected on consumers by the three credit bureaus is similar. There are uh, difference. They are different in certain ways, but they're not really too much different for you to figure it out. What I do recommend is that you go sign up with each three of them. That's what I've done, done because each one of them hold a different FICO score that tells you your actual credit score. I know a lot of people use Credit Karma. Nothing wrong with Credit Karma. I have it. I keep an update with it, you know, but it's not as accurate as uh, these three, such as uh, Equifax, Sprint, and TransUnion. Um, Credit Karma just give you a glimpse of your credit score, not your actual FICO score, and that's the difference. So, uh, you got to understand, right here, you know, you have the four different credit bureaus. The most accurate is the ones that, you know, are these right here, Asperas, Equifax, and TransUnion. And um, you got to understand this. Let's get into it. You know, I've been... Kind of prolonging this whole video i just had surgery so y'all gotta excuse me uh I'm having a little pain here but okay let's get to it so first thing you want to do get the report back once you get the report back look through the report see exactly what you're missing or any late payments anything that has to do with um collections and if you want to i advise you to write these um agencies down write their address down write their number down you got two options. You either can call it in or you can mail them. So let's go over the whole calling thing. The first thing you want to do is if you call them, you want to ask for a goodwill deletion. A goodwill dele deletion, excuse me. And the reason you want to do this is because there's a possible chance that they might just give you a goodwill deletion by taking it off your credit. But what you're doing that, you also want to ask them to send you a letter saying that it was taken off your credit so that just in case three, four, six months down the road, they decide they want to take you to court for whatever reason you have this letter of documentation proving that you got it taken off your credit so the second thing you want to do is if you mail it in there's a thing called 609 letter and 611 letter um, so we'll go over that real quick and what I want y'all to understand about this 609 and 611 uh, 609 letter and how to file a credit dispute this is out here. This is what they be selling in the ebooks. We ain't with all that. We ain't with all that. We not with all that. We not gonna do all that. We not finna just try to tell people, hey, come to me because I can get your credit fixed. So this is where it's at. All you have to do is Google 609 letter or 611 letter, whichever one. It's literally a template. There's literally a way to fill this out. 
As we go over this, it removes the error from your credit report. It's generally as simple as completing the credit report agency dispute form and submitting it online or by mail, as I mentioned. As long as you are in the right, the results will usually be in your favor. Unfortunately, sometimes it isn't, and correcting the mistake can be a lethal process. Uh, don't let this deter you, however. Incorrect negative information hurts your credit history and lowers your credit score, which is not only affecting your credit, your borrowing opportunities, but your ability to rent a home, sometimes get a job, and the off and studies. You know, I'm not going to read all that, but let's go further down. If disputing uh, error, uh, error nuisance data with the credit reporting agency has generated the desired results, your next step is to maybe to write what's known as the 609 letter, as I mentioned to the credit reporting agency. These are the people that are saying, hey, you owe me $500 because you took out a loan for whatever. In this article, they provide you with information on what you need to know regarding the 609 letter, some recommendations for credit repairing agencies should you need to hire one. Don't hire one, because when I show y'all the prices, y'all can be like, I can just save that money and pay off one of my, you know, my credits or, you know, do a settle. Because at the end of the day, nobody gonna take care of you the way you gonna take care of you, okay? So the 609 letter is similar to the debate, the debit verification letter you will send to the third party collector when trying to find a validation to the legitimacy of balance due, which is in your right under the Fair Debit Collection Practice Act. A lot of people talk about this, but they don't tell you what it is. 609 letter, however, is based on a section 609 of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA, the federal law that regulates the credit reporting agencies. As per FCRA, the only accurate and timely information may be listed on the credit report section of 609 of the FCRA. Gives this give you the right to see what the furnishings such as the lender, collector, or court sent to the credit reporting agency as evidence that information is correct, but the information need to be verifiable. So if it's not, it should be removed from the credit. It's pretty much saying if they can't verify it, take it off. If I ain't signed no legal documentations, take it off. Most times out of nine times out of ten, you probably did it. You know, it's probably just some things that you applied through your credit. And this is where identity death comes into a big play. A lot of people steal identities and then apply for credit, and that's how a lot of people credit get messed up. Or people just apply for credit cards, use you know 90% of the credit, don't pay it all. We're gonna get to a credit. A credit card video in another video you know i'm gonna explain y'all what's the best thing to do with uh credit utilization so some people in companies sell 609 letter templates to worry consumers but there's no reason to spend any money like i mentioned don't spend no money y'all this is everything you want to know is on the internet literally we in 2020 everything you want to know is on the internet all you have to do is research please research take the time out to research this is nothing Prioritary about the format or wording, although it should be carefully written and require quite a bit of your own documentations. Understand it's your own documentation. So let's go over this. To write a well crafted 609 letter, first gather the following documents and make four copies of each. Credit reporting with the accounts in question circled or highlighted. Credit reporting with the account question circled or highlighted. This is after you get your credit report back. This is if you want to do a letter, y'all. Understand this is only if you're going to send a letter to this consumer saying, hey, these people are saying that I owe them this money, okay? And you want to make a copy of these letters. You can type it up, you know, on your computer, go to library. I have a way. If you're old school and you want to write it, write it, but I prefer you type it up so everything is, you know, legible. They can see it and you can, you know, annotate everything that you need to. Um, birth certificate. You want to get a copy of your birth certificate. Social security card, get a copy of that. Passport, if you have one, pages showing your photo and your number. Driver's license, state uh, issued identification card, tax document that shows your SSN. You know, you can get a pay stub, most recent pay stub, probably if anything, uh, either a rental agreement or mortgage contract with your name on it, utility bill, or, you know, if you pay rent at your apartment, that'll be good. Utility bills with your name and address on it. After that, you'll use the following sample letter as a guide. Subscribe your name. To Jamal Way and click the notification. Let me kick it off, matter of fact, I break it off I be that nigga just chillin' in the back, y'all Kept the silence when the pen hit the paper Wrote these rhymes, working overtime, and I guess it really paid off Seen a couple legions, and I had to burn